How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and today we're going to talk about Motorola devices. Yes, you know I like Motorola, and we're going to talk about how to repair a hard bricked Motorola device. This is my Moto G 4th Gen, and it is officially hard bricked. And actually, I hard bricked it. Yes, I did. So, just to show you what I mean, normally you can get into bootloader mode by holding volume down and power, or you can get into any mode by holding power down. It doesn't matter. This doesn't get you into any mode. This thing is officially what we call hard bricked because it does not respond to any button combination whatsoever. It does not respond. It will not do anything. The only thing it will do, and I'll show it to you, is if you take the device and you plug it into your computer, you might get an LED flash. Let's see if it does it. Oh, do you see it? The LED flash? That's it. That's the extent of what you will get out of this device, an LED flash. Now, um, the reason being is because, of course, as you know, we are hard bricked. This thing will not do anything. The only thing you'll get on your computer is you will get a Qualcomm bulk mode uh, driver uh, device install if you know how to do it. And you're pretty much screwed. The device is garbage. No, nope, not really. It's not garbage. Of course, I would not do this to my device unless I knew how to fix it, and I do. So. That's what we're going to show you in today's video, how to fix a Motorola hard bricked device and where to get the files to do it. Let's go get started. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this uh, hard brick uh, restore method for Motorola. So first things first, you're going to come into our file repository. This is Phone Labs file repository, and you're going to click on the Motorola folder, and then you're going to look, click on the blank flash by chipset uh, folder. And in here, you're going to see all of these blank flash files. So what we're doing in this video is going to be Athen, which is the Moto G 4th Gen. Um, so we, right here, that's the file I'm going to need. This is my chipset for my device. Um, but you can see there's tons of uh, chipsets in here and blank flashes for many, many devices. And I'll hopefully add more as I get time and as I get them. So basically, you're going to need the files you're going to need um, downloaded to your computer, obviously. Besides that, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Here is... All of them again here on my computer. I'm just going to go ahead and open this one up and extract it in 7-zip and we're going to call it um, Athen. That way we just have it identified really simply. And there you go, that is the file. So at this point um, we want to get this Qualcomm brick device working. So um, we're going to go ahead and plug it in right now. This is my Moto G. And you're going to see there was a little LED flash there. And if we come over here to um, right here and we look at what is installed or functioning, you, there, there's nothing here. Um, you know, there's nothing here that is, the device is like not connecting. So if you, if you just kind of hold power for a second, you'll see that um, it connects. And it connects as this, unknown device. And trust me, I play with it. it <laughs> You, you're thinking there's a driver issue here, and it should be saying Qualcomm bulk mode, errors. This is what you got to do. Come over to your phone and just hold volume down and power, and just keep holding it until you get a disconnect on your computer. And you'll see the screen here in computer management or device manager flash. And when that happens, it should connect in the correct mode. So we're just going to keep holding the, the, the keys on the phone. All right, and then what you're going to see is once you hold it, it sometimes can take up to like a minute of holding volume down and power. And eventually it'll disconnect, and you can see now that we are connected in Qualcomm uh, Pew Loader mode, and your number is this uh, 9008. This is the correct mode and port. It should be on a port, you can see here, instead of this universal serial bus. So once you have it connected like this, then you know you're good to go. Now... When it comes to drivers, all the drivers, if you've gone through the driver install video here on Phone Lab, then you should already have the drivers you need for this to work, just so you know that. All right, we can close out of this. And now to get the device out of this Qualcomm bulk mode and back into a bootloader so we can do a restore, we're going to come over here to the blank flash we extracted. And I'll pull it over here so you guys can see it. And um, we're going to go ahead and run it. And it's very simple. Um, it does have an sh file or the bat file, um, so it looks like it would run on Linux. I don't know why. I don't think it will because it's running an exe, but anyway, 
this is how you do it. You just double click the uh, batch file and it will go ahead and put this device back to the bootloader. So it's basically flashing um, the single image bin or and sometimes it'll also flash a programmer. So we're going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to open up this little file right here and automatically restore this device. You can see it's gone ahead and it's rebooted it and there you go you have the bootloader again. Now you can see this is an unlocked bootloader. Um, that does not matter because these are signed files from Motorola. This will work on your Athen device. Okay, that's pretty much it. Hit any key to continue. And there you go. You have restored the bootloader on this device. Now, before you can reboot this thing and just boot it up, um, I'll show you what's going to happen if you do that. We'll go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and clicked start. And what you're going to see is that the device just flashes. See it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and so because of that, you're going to need to um, do some more flashing. So let me get these files back up and just show you guys how to repair this part. So you need to have the firmware for the device as well. The most current firmware is highly recommended unless you know the firmware that your device is on. And here I have the firmware. So we're just going to hold down volume down and power and this is just going to force this thing back into bootloader you can see it is right there and then if you've watched my videos on using my RSD Lite uh, XML to batch script you'll understand how this is functioning and I'm gonna go ahead and flash do a flash all to fully restore the device so I'll go ahead and do that and it's gonna go ahead and flash all the official firmware back to the device to get it fully functioning again so basically two flashes one is to restore your bootloader so that you can use fast boot and then the second one is just a normal firmware restore of the Motorola device Guys, that is the process. That is how you unbrick a hard bricked Motorola device. So, not too hard. The biggest problem is you got to have the proprietary files. You have to have the files that are signed by Motorola. And that is the trick. And you know what? That's what PhoneLab is here for to track down this stuff and make it available for our members. Like I said, you can get them right from our uh, mega file repository. And um, I'll hopefully add more and update as I get the opportunity. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm just going to let this thing fully finish just to show you that we're out of a boot loop. Now, obviously, this is going to wipe data fact, reset the device. Um, the initial boot up will take five minutes or more, depending on how old the device is. Um, your, if you have an unlocked bootloader, that will not change. The bootloader will still be unlocked. If it was locked, it will not change. It will still be locked. So those things are not going to change on the device. Um, you're just restoring the bootloader so that you can utilize it one more time and uh, yeah so pretty awesome I've been looking for ages it seems like to figure out how to do hard brick restores and now we have a method here at phone lab all right guys let me just skip ahead until we get this script to finish and we'll show you how it boots up all right guys there you go the script is finished now if you're using my uh, scripting tool here then um, you can just hit continue and it'll reboot otherwise you can come over to the phone and uh, select start and it'll reboot. I'm just gonna let the script do it because it's part of it, it's pretty sweet. Go ahead and enter. And there you go. So that is the process. We can, uh, we're done on the computer with all the files. And here you can see again, there's the unlock bootloader warning because that's the kind of device I'm working on. Um, main reason I have an unlock bootloader in this video is because to be able to force a bricked phone, a hard bricked phone, you have to corrupt the bootloader. So that's what I was doing to uh, do that I needed to have an unlocked bootloader so I could force corrupt it so that I could show you guys how to repair um, these uh, hard brick devices. So just so you guys know, this is the kind of stuff that I do, the kind of research that I put in. I will go to the extent of hard bricking phones so that we can show you guys repairs and how to fix them. So there you go, you can see we're not in a boot loop anymore. Again, this is gonna be initial boot. It's going to take some time to uh, finish and um, it will be back at the welcome screen startup for doing a restore. Um, so you should be good to go. Now, if it's FRP locked, it's still going to be FRP locked. That's not going to change. We haven't flashed that partition. So just as a heads up. There you go. That's going to wrap it up. I hope you have enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Brew Junkie out.